Yes, this is O'Donnell's Aussie homestead. Not quite in his homestead, that's for sure. Just up in the, uh, just north of my house. About uh, 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes is about it. And you can see all of this. So pop over. Come here more often. This is uh, up near Mamora, not far from us. In the far distance, it's Newcastle. Uh, we have a uh, few little tankers coming by. This place is called Wai Bung Heads. I don't know Wai Bung, but <laughs> yes, yes. This is what you get on the central coast. And I've just been dragged down here by my, my, by my children. They said, oh, you should come and see this great spot. And I say, I've been here, been coming here since I was a boy. I say, what, no big surprise. No big surprise. I'm only using my phone because I uh, left my camera at home as usual. Up to that point. Yep. Uh, silly buggers come down here and fish. There's nothing wrong with the fishing. It's just the uh, they don't watch the waves, and you get a big wave come through and washes them in, doesn't it? Yep. Look at that skull and crossbones. Jeez, must be pirates. Look at that there. Look at that there. Anywho, catch up. Okay, that's called Snapper Cave. Or second, this is Snapper Point. Sorry if there's a lot of wind. I'm trying to hide, protect the uh, speaker. Very windy. Very windy. That's Fraser Park. And there's a blowhole there that uh, my friend's uh, brother got drowned in, actually. Back, back 45, 50 years ago. Good. No, about 45 years ago. These young people all died at this blowhole. Most of them are young. This was the, this boy here, Glenn Fitzsimmons, 17 years of age, April 1977. He, uh, he drowned here. He was my friend's brother. So many have lost their lives here. Mainly playing around on it, enjoying the, here's another one. Very sad.
for, for them. These are some of the people that come here, like I said. Now look at this one here, from Fairbanks, Alaska. Jeremy Austin Earnshaw. You know, if you go down there, around the corner, that's where the blowhole is. It takes so many lives. No wind here. I'm just taking you around. You get probably see what the view is like over this side. I mean, this is breathtaking, I think. This is our Central Coast coastline, the rough end. At the moment, there's a hell of a lot of wind and swell. Around that corner over there, there's a place called Birdie Beach. As a boy, I used to go there and uh, that's where all the nudies used to get. So with folks with four wheel drives, it was a lot of fun. like what you're seeing give it a big thumbs up please subscribe and ring that notification bell as you like my little extra just for you